Dr. Chris Cormier here of the Nerve Health Institute. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the, the brain and the breaker box in the body. So you may not be aware of this, but the way your brain works, it's the controller of your entire body. And you wanna think of it like this. The brain has wiring connections, as I'm holding up right here. There are thousands, millions of wires that come from the brain that go to all the parts in your body. That's how your body works. That's how I'm moving my fingers. That's how I'm talking to you today. My jaw is moving as we're talking right now because of wiring connections. I'm seeing you because of wiring connections to my eyes. I'm moving my eyes because of wiring connections. I'm digesting food from previously eaten because of wiring connections to my stomach and digestive tract. So every part of your body has to have a breaker. And so I have this breaker box here. And this is a very small representation of the human body. This is, just, this is a, a giant house that has this amount of breakers. But your, your human body actually has thousands of these. And so I have this here. All of these breakers currently right now are on. And what happens to us? We go through life. We have certain postures. We have certain foods that we shouldn't be eating. Um, that are tripping breakers. We have certain postures we're doing that are tripping breakers. Maybe genetically we have a faulty breaker in a specific region of the body. Um, so all of these things play into um, how many breakers you have on in your breaker box, in your brain, and how many you have off. And how do you know if you have one of these off? You don't, unless you see somebody like me who's actually trained to find out which breakers are on and which breakers are off. In fact, I have a book that's gonna be released later in February of 2012 called The Hidden Diagnosis. Because The Hidden Diagnosis is exactly this breaker box right here. You're looking at it, this is you. What happens if you have this breaker and this breaker and this breaker that somehow have turned off throughout the course of your life? Maybe it's more. Maybe you got a, giant, a, a, a lot more breakers that have been turned off for reasons that, that um, maybe you got in accidents, falls, maybe you bumped your head, maybe you had some too much bad food for too long, you thought it was good food for you, but in all actuality, it doesn't match your chemistry. So there's so many factors involved with this stuff in keeping your breakers on. Well, we have this amazing technique that we're able to go into your breaker box, find out where the wiring is not signaling. So an example of this is, if I just take your hand and grip it, well, guess what? There are muscles in my hand that are gripping my hand together. And we want the signal between, the wiring signal between the brain here going out into the hand to be firing really, really good. And if that signal is very slow, this is weaker than it should be, and you have no idea. And so this, this wiring connection is incredibly important because it doesn't just go to here, it branches and goes to really vital structures like the heart. So we wanna make sure this thing between your ears is very well connected. And this small group of us in the world specializing in this technique called quantum neurology have a much better impression of this in terms of diagnosing this condition called the hidden diagnosis and actually repairing it. So we're capable of going into your breaker box finding exactly which breakers are off and then turning them back on as simple as this. So check us out, go to my website called the nervehealthinstitute.com and I'm Dr. Chris Cormier. Thanks for listening.